Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you a fun little solar lamp kit that, or not a kit, module rather, that uh, my girlfriend and I whipped up for a camping trip. I'm not going to offer this as a kit, but I figured I'd show it off anyway because it's kind of neat. Uh, what we have is two 12 volt LED banks, four 2.7 volt 400 uh, farad supercapacitors, uh, two sets in series, so total capacitance is 400 farads at 5.4 volts. Down here we have the uh, my super capacitor uh, flashlight kit, modified slightly, 12 volt booster, and a switch. So what happens is I've got my custom uh, 9 volt 800 milliamp solar panel that I whipped up, and uh, I have a, a DC jack that I can plug directly into the uh, into the uh, super capacitor charger board. So what I'll do is I'll set it up and I'll show you it in action. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in my extension wire. It's about three meters long. I'm not sure if you'll see, but that LED will uh, flicker when uh, I put this in, and the relay will turn on. Relay turned on, and uh, right now the capacitors are charging. So when the capacitors are fully charged, what will happen is the relay will turn off. You'll hear click, and that LED will start flickering again. At which point. Uh, when I flip the switch, the 5.4 volts from here will be applied to the booster, which can be calibrated to 8 volts to 12 volts. And 12 volts being maximum uh, brightness output, most current consumption, so it will last as long, maybe 40 minutes. At 8 volts, it'll last about two and a half hours. And in good light, it only takes about, uh, I'd say, about a half an hour to charge. Now, if it clouds over, what happens is it might cause a reset, in which case it'll just start charging again, again once the sun comes out. There's no, uh, it's, it's really, it was pretty easy to put together. I put together similar circuits before, but uh, what I'll do is I'll wait a few minutes and then I'll turn on the LED banks to show you the, the, the power stored on the supercapacitors. Now, because I don't want to wait out here all day, I'm not camping yet. I'm uh, on my uh, driveway. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it on to show you it. It's not fully charged yet, so let me charge you for about five minutes. So I'll turn on my switch. Uh, you can keep keep it powered, keep the capacitor charging while you turn it on. Now that's not full brightness by any means, that's actually not very bright at all, but that's because the capacitors are still charging. They're probably at around uh, 3.2 uh, 3 to 3.3 .3 volts right now, so it's still got a heck of a ways to go, but you can calibrate the brightness just by adjusting the potentiometer here. And again, when it's done, what will happen is that LED will, will turn on and start flashing. The relay, the relay will turn off and then again, if uh, you want to keep charging, it's ADC based, analog to digital converter, so um, the capacitors will never be overcharged. They'll never charge past 2.5 volts, even if there's a cloud over and it resets. First thing it does is it's constantly checking hundreds of times a second uh, the voltage on the supercapacitors. So, just to show you one more time, hunky dory, got plenty of light for nighttime. Uh, the reason why there's two LED banks is because they'll be facing two different directions and placed in our tent tonight, so we'll have light. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Visit us at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. We've got about 100 new products coming in the next uh, month and a half, so stay tuned. Tons of really, really cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.